What's going on guys? Welcome to studio vlog number four. I'm going to be giving you guys a walk around here in just a few moments. We're going to go around the studios. I got a bunch of gear moved over today. Actually, I got the vast majority of the gear moved over to the studio today. The only thing I'm waiting on getting is my last desk, which is the, the main desk that I was using in the previous studio. It's got like drawers and stuff that are basically screwed right into the bottom of the desk. And there's an ice cream man outside. I'm going to wait till he passes. And watch me now get a copyright strike for like Pop Goes the Weasel or something like that. I, I, that's just the way it goes. But anyway, I got like I said, I got most of the gear moved over here today. I'm just waiting to get my last desk set up over here. But I got my main X99 PC over from the from the old space. I wanted to get that over here so that I could do TGW, which is going to be later today. You'll be seeing this tomorrow, and you'll also be seeing the announcement of the winners of the giveaway here, which are Joseph Pauling and Lee P, who are at Mr. Comp Psy and at Comp TV over on Twitter. So just kind of in common there that both of their names have comp in them, and I guess they're going to be comped some hardware. So Joseph Pauling at Mr. Comp Psy over on Twitter was our grand prize winner. So he won the Ryzen 7 1700X, which I have over here somewhere. I think, well, yeah, this one right here. This is the 1700X that he won, along with the MSI B350 Tomahawk motherboard from Wendell over at Level 1 Techs. And our second prize winner, Lee P, who is at underscore comp TV over on Twitter, took home the RX 480 4GB MSI card, which was give, being given away by Tech Deals. I will link to both of their channels down in the description below. If you guys still haven't checked them out, or if you didn't enter for the giveaway and you missed your chance for that, I'm sorry, but hopefully we will have some more giveaways coming your way in the future. But congratulations to both of our winners. Thank you so much to everyone that entered in this giveaway. We had a ton of entries, uh, really helped out you know, all of our channels a lot, I feel, with growth and bringing in you know, new viewers and cross traffic from other channels. So thank you to all of you guys that entered. And now let's get on with the room tour of what I've got over here set up so far. All right, so I guess we'll start off with what I got over here on my desk. Uh, you can see... Right now I'm running back on my Acer XB270HU 1440p 144Hz G-Sync monitor. Absolutely love that thing. My favorite monitor of all time for gaming. Still to this day nothing beats it in terms of just having a perfect gaming experience on a monitor. Over there I've got my AMH A409U. That is a 40 inch 4K Korean monitor that I've got set up over there. Uh, keyboard and mouse, you guys recently saw I did the videos on these actually, it's the Logitech G Pro keyboard and G Pro mouse, I just finally got these over here today. I had been using my old G303 along with a Waz keyboard with Cherry MX Brown switches in the meantime until I got these set up. Got my phone there, Galaxy S7 inch, although I'm seeing everyone raging about the S8, really wish I had the S8 now, because I got that phone literally a month before the S8 came out and I started seeing the leaks about it like the days after, like, like two days after I got that phone, there was leaks coming out about the S8, so kind of gutted that I didn't get the S8. But everything else here, got it pretty much set up exactly the way that I did there. There's the uh, Logitech C922. That's what I use as my webcam for live streaming, for TGW and all that. I am I do have a new webcam actually coming from Logitech that I had mentioned the other day on live stream, which is the Logitech Brio, which is a 4K webcam. I've been waiting for the past few days for that to come in, so hopefully I'll have it by TGW next week. Um, here's my, my microphone I've been using. I've been using this thing forever on the channel, like uh, probably for like, the last two years. It's the Audio-Technica AT2035, and the light behind that is a, a Tautronics desk lamp, which is actually pretty cool. It's got some nice features on it. I'll show you guys here what you can do with this thing. So it's got different modes here. You can turn it on and off, obviously. It's got like a night light you can put on. Uh, it's also got, if you turn it off, you can put it on, you got like a morning light, which is like kind of lower. You got like a blue light for reading. You got this warm light, which is like, I guess for people, it's, I don't know, it has like a picture of a person with a heart on it. It's basically warm lighting, but it's pretty cool. And you can adjust the, the dimness and the brightness. So it's nice to be able to have that for like, you know, different effects. If I want to get some kind of yellow light kind of showing off in the corner behind me while I'm filming or whatever, then I'll be able to do that. Oh, and of course, how could I forget my fidget cube? I play with this thing constantly. It's really awesome. I think they're like 10 bucks on Amazon. My girlfriend got me two of these um, a few months back. I, I play with this thing pretty much all day. I like the light switch button the most. That's what I call it, the light switch button. 
But yeah, I just pretty much play with this thing at my desk. I even got one in my car that I'll play with when I'm driving sometimes. But both hands on the wheel, guys. Be safe. In this corner over here, I got the X99 PC, which you guys have seen in the past. Black Mesa, I did a couple build videos on this. It's kind of been the main workhorse of the channel for a little over a year now. Maybe, actually, I think it's just coming up on its one-year anniversary. It feels like I've had it forever, but it's actually only been about, I think, about a year. I think I built it around this time last year, so... Absolute monster in the Fantex N2 Evolve with the uh, 6800K in there. Did change out the 5820 a while back for the 6800K. Not a huge upgrade, but I ended up selling that 5820K to someone. So, got the 6800K in there. And you can see my Ryzen boxes. This is what the Ryzen 5 samples came in. And behind that, we've got the Ryzen 7 box that all the samples came in for that. I am waiting on a couple of more Ryzen processors, hopefully to be coming... Uh, in the near future, it should be coming in this week, actually, last I had heard. Got some more hardware kind of scattered around here. I haven't really finished getting the room entirely set up. This is a Acer Aspire VX15. I reviewed this recently, and there's the G303 I mentioned earlier that I was using until I got my rest of my hardware over here. That's my uh, main tripod. That's a Benro tripod with a Manfrotto fluid head on there. It's what I use to pretty much film all of my videos on. Except for right now, I'm just using a Joby Gorilla Pod to kind of... Just free freestyle this whole thing. This TV stand is eventually going to be going out of this room. Um, we're basically just waiting on my girlfriend's father to come and pick up his TV and the old TV stand from downstairs so that I could bring over my TV and then get this out of here. And once I get that out of here, I think it's going to open up the room quite a bit more and I'll be able to get the rest of my stuff in here and get it organized, which is why it's kind of still in a state of distress right now is because I'm having to keep stuff like this in the room. Here's a sneak peek of something I'll be reviewing very soon on the channel. Whoop, whoop, very soon, Logitech G413 keyboard. Be reviewing that pretty soon for you guys. I haven't had a chance to really mess around with it yet, as I've been, you know, going on with the move. Air duster. I do need to get an electronic air duster device. If you have any recommendations, please let me know down in the comments. Uh, here are my computers, which if I can focus on these guys. These are, well, this is three of my computers here. This is the this is an AM4 PC. It's got the 1500X in there with the MSI B350 Tomahawk. Behind that, we've got my i7 7700K built, and then one more build back there. That's my mini ITX rig with the i5 6600K. And I do have one other PC in this room. It's the uh, the Better Red system, which you guys guys have seen plenty of on the channel. And in my effort to kind of organize things, I did I kept the PCs over there. I've got two monitors over here. That's the Acer XR382CQK and the Pixio PX277. I reviewed that one in the past. The Acer Ultra Wide review is coming soon. I just really had to get this move out of the way so that I can work on everything properly. And then I've got some uh, audio gear kind of strewn about in this corner here. That's an Audio Technica AT2020 mic, which is a USB. I use that as kind of a backup or at a second setup. And underneath that, is a Yamaha mixer, which I have yet to set up so that I can utilize it for TGW, but I will be doing that soon. It's going to be great because I'll be able to patch in the audio from Skype, so I'll be able to put a compressor on my audio as well as the audio incoming from Skype, so it'll be like having completely treated audio, but at a hardware level, so it's going out live to the viewer, which normally I would do kind of in post-production in Audacity, but now I've got this guy, so I'll be able to do everything at the hardware level, which is absolutely awesome. That was a Christmas present, which I still haven't set up, unfortunately. Just don't tell my girlfriend who got it for me for Christmas, who I told I really, really needed it. Uh, down here, we've got all of my graphics cards. So we got the MSI RX 480 8GB card. Up, up, up on top there, we've got the GTX 1060. And we've got a couple more in here. Let's see what we got. We've got a GTX... Uh, 970 EVGA GTX 970 and then underneath that we've got the Sapphire R9 390 Nitro huge freaking card absolutely monstrous card like the, I think that's the longest card that I own maybe the biggest card I've ever seen absolutely tremendous got some more knickknacks back here this is just uh, this is a bunch of keyboards it's got my keyboards in there got a, got a Waz that's a Waz keyboard Cherry MX Browns we got a Cherry keyboard down there and the Waz with Cherry MX Clears. Got my monopod that I'm going to be needing tomorrow because I'm going to an Acer event in New York, so I'm going to be needing that. If you're doing any live events, I highly recommend this monopod right here. It's one of the Manfrotto monopods. I'll be sure to put a link uh, down in the description for anyone that's interested, but could not do any, any shows or events without that thing like PAX West, PAX East, 
the Acer vent I'm going to be working at tomorrow. I, yeah, this monopod is great because it's got three legs at the bottom so you can actually stand it up. And the thing extends to, I think, like eight or nine feet tall if you need it to. So really great for shooting above crowds if you need to. Awesome. Can't just love it. So yeah, like I said, I'm kind of in the process of getting ready for that Acer event tomorrow. I've got my, my travel camera bag right there that's got all of my essential gear for when I'm on the road, apart from the camera and the microphone that I have hooked up on here right now, which is the Panasonic G7 along with the Rode VideoMic Pro. Yeah, the Rode VideoMic Pro. So I've got to get those in there, but otherwise I pretty much keep that bag um, packed and ready to go at a moment's notice. So all I got to do is pretty much throw my camera in it, strap the monopod to the back, and yeah, I'm ready to go off and filming. And the Minefrotto fluid head that I that I had showed you previously that's on the tripod, I pop that off of there and put it straight on the monopod, and it's just perfect. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this sort of unfinished studio tours. It's not completely done yet, and but I've got pretty much all of my hardware here, like I said. I've got everything that I need to run the channel to be able to benchmark everything that I need for new games coming out so I can really test you know, stuff as it becomes available. Not really too consequential that I don't have everything, you know, set up entirely on the desk. It does set me back a little bit as far as time is concerned, but that is something I'll get ironed out over the coming weeks as I begin to move the rest of the stuff out of here and I set up all the rest of the desk because I'm kind of operating right now off of just the one main desk here and then I've got a, a small desk in the corner with the PC on it. But other than that, I'm really just running off of one desk, which it does limit me, like I said, because in the previous studio, I had the two desks side by side so I could really go between two different systems in just a matter of seconds. Whereas here, I kind of need to tr switch everything out if I need to test something. So it's not ideal, but hopefully I'll get it ironed out in like the next week or so. And then I'll be really at 100% here as far as being able to pump out content on the channel. But if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below if you enjoyed it. You want to see more vlogs like these ones. I'll probably be doing something vloggy in the city tomorrow when I'm at that Acer event. But uh, yeah, until you guys see that video and everything, I will catch you next time. And once again, congratulations to the winners of our giveaway. And I'll keep, see you guys next time. I can't snap my left fingers. I told you guys. I'll try it over here. Maybe with... Maybe I'll snap with my right hand. The problem is that I have really, really small hands, just like Donald Trump. I don't have huge hands. They're not huge like Sean Hannity or Steve Bannon. They're really, really tiny hands, okay? Ta-da.